By using a time tracking software, you and your team can further streamline day-to-day -day projects and tasks by identifying the time it takes to complete specific activities. Now, the time tracking software called Toggle Track allows you to collaborate with up to five users completely for free. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a great start in 2022. Now today I'm going to share with you how to use Toggle Track to simply track the time allocation of your day-to-day -day activities in your business so that you can further optimize your team's productivity. Okay, so before we get started, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into Toggle Track. <music> Okay, so today what we're going to do is cover the free web version of Toggle Track. Now you can also download the app on iOS and Android as well as install the browser extension to allow you to integrate Toggle Track with your project management tools that you use in your organization. To arrive at this page, simply head over to toggle.com forward slash track and that's going to take you here. Okay, so to get started with Toggle Track for free, simply navigate down to email, add your email in here, add a password and then simply click sign up with email or you have the option to sign up with your Google account or your Apple account. So what I'm going to do is sign up for free with our Google account. So go ahead, take the time to sign up for free using your preferred method and we'll meet you inside your Toggle Track account. And here we are inside our Toggle Track account. This is where the magic happens and this is where we can start tracking our time that's allocated towards projects, tasks and activities that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Now in today's beginners tutorial what we're going to do is focus on Toggle Track's free plan as this is sufficient enough for small businesses, small teams and individuals. Okay, so if we navigate down the bottom, you can see your workspace. If we click here, we have our default workspace selected. We can navigate down here to create a new workspace. Now, depending on the nature of your organization, you might want to create multiple workspaces. However, think about the workspace as your entire organization, and then you have your teams, clients, and projects within that workspace. So for the majority of small businesses, you just need one workspace. Now, if we navigate up to the top and by default, we have timer selected. And if you're ready to track a specific task, simply navigate over to what are you working on? Click here. And for example, a task I could be working on is a logo design. So I can type in logo design here. And then once you've added an activity that you want to track, simply navigate over to create a project. This allows you to add that activity that you want to track to a project. Simply click create a project and for example, let's say that I wanted to track a project for a specific client and this project is going to be called rebranding for client A. And once you've named your project, come down and select the workspace. We have this workspace selected by default. Then below our workspace, we have client. If we click here, I can add this project to a client. So for example, if this project rebranding was a project for a client of ours, then what I could do is select the client. Now, because I haven't added any clients to our toggle track software, what I can do is navigate down to add new client. And this rebranding project, like I mentioned earlier, is for client A. So I'm going to go ahead and add client A for the purpose of this tutorial. Then once you've added your client name, simply click add. And because we're creating a project from scratch, we're not going to select a template. Then below other, we have the option to make our project private or public. And what we always do is leave our projects on private. And this basically only allows our project members to access their relevant projects that they are part of. If you turn this on to public, then anyone within your account can access the project. 
So once you've added these details, simply come down and click Create Project. And as you can see, if we navigate up here, you can see that we have our rebranding project selected, and this is for our client named Client A. Then for this specific activity that you want to track, you can go ahead and add tags. And tags allow you to better manage your activities within your account. Then if we click out of this and next to tags, we have billable. Now, basically at the moment, this activity is billable. So for example, if we hit record and let's say it takes one hour to complete the logo design, then we can turn this into a report and send this to our client, client A, and invoice them for our billable time. However, what we're gonna do is turn billable off because you can only use this paid feature if you upgrade to at least the starter plan. Then when you're ready to start tracking your activity, simply click start time entry. And as you can see, that's gonna start tracking our time. Now to stop your time entry, all you need to do is click stop when you've completed this specific activity. And down here, you can see a summary of your new time entry. Okay, now what I wanna do is add one more time entry, one more activity that I want to track for this same project for this same client. However, this time I'm going to type in homepage copy. So for example, for this specific activity that I want to track within this rebranding project for client A, is we need to redesign their homepage copy. So as you can see, I've added in that entry, then I can navigate over to this folder icon, click here, and then come down and select rebranding for client A. I can also create a new project if this was a new entry for a different project. But what I'm going to do is click client A and the rebranding project. And again, because I'm using the free plan, what I'm gonna do is turn off billable. I can also go ahead and add a tag if I like. However, what I'm going to do is start the time entry. And then again, when I'm ready to stop tracking this entry, all I would do is click stop. And as you can see, I now have two entries for our rebranding project for client A. And next to today, you can see the total amount of time that we've tracked today, as well as how long each activity took and the start and end time for each activity. Now, let's say that you wanted to continue working on a specific activity, a specific time entry. Then all you would do is locate the time entry, then navigate over to this play icon to continue the time entry. If we click here, you can see that the time entry will continue. Then once I've completed this activity or I want to pause this activity, all I would do is click stop again. Then if we navigate down to the existing entry that we continued, we can see the grouped entries over here by clicking on this entry. And down here you can see our first time entry and our second time entry that we just stopped. Then if we navigate over to the far right hand side of this entry, we can click on these three dots. We can duplicate this entry, we can set this entry as billable. If we decided to turn this entry into a billable entry, then we can also go to project, add to favorites, and delete this entry. Now, if we click out of here and navigate up to the top right hand side and click on manual mode, this allows us to manually enter a time entry for a specific activity. Then to navigate back to the timer mode, simply click this clock icon. Okay, so that is how you can track your day-to-day -day projects, activities, and tasks. Now, if we navigate over to the left-hand sidebar and under timer, we have analyze. If we click on reports, and this is where we can view, save, and download specific time entries based on teams, our clients, projects, tasks, billable, entries, tags, and descriptions. So for example, if we navigate over to projects and click here, and then navigate down to our project that we created earlier for client A, and then click on our report, that's gonna generate a basic report for our project. Then below reports, we have insights. If we click here, you can see insights and data trends for either your projects, clients, or teams. And these reports and insights allow you to identify where your time is being spent, how you can further optimize your time, cut costs, and more.
You can answer questions like, are your projects profitable? Is there ways that you can streamline your workflows? And what activities are producing the best results? And then under manage, we have projects. If we click here, this is where we can view, create and manage our projects. Then below projects, we have our clients. And again, this is where you can view, manage and add new clients. Then below clients, we have team. And this is where you can manage and invite your team members to collaborate with you on your toggle track account. Remember the free plan allows you to collaborate with up to five users completely for free. Then below team, we have tags. And again, this is where you can add and manage your tags. Now below tags, we have settings. If we click here, this is where you can simply customize your account settings. Now we can also navigate over to integrations and with toggle track, you can access and integrate this tool with other popular tools that you use on a daily basis. For example, we could integrate Asana, which is a free project management tool, and we can use toggle track to simply track our time entries for specific projects and tasks within Asana. What you will find with the free plans of most project management tools like Asana, Trello, Jira, Rike and others is they do not have a built in free tracker and that is where toggle track comes in if you're looking for a powerful free time tracking solution. And then below settings we have help and subscription. If we click on subscription, this is where you can view your 30 day free trial of the premium plan. And if you decide you want to upgrade to the paid plan after 30 days, then all you need to do is simply add your payment information and you'll be able to access all the premium features within toggle track. However, that is everything we wanted to cover in today's toggle track tutorial for beginners to help you get started with time tracking. And there we have it guys, that is it for this time tracking tutorial for beginners. Now, if you have any questions about toggle track, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And that way I'll see you next time. Take care guys.